Hello and welcome to the first installment of the Unico upcycling course for parents who wish to make the best out of the items they already own. Let's start with an easy example. Here we have a pair of kids' trousers with worn down knees. There aren't any holes that go straight through yet, but the aesthetics of the garment have now been ruined and it's not suitable to wear. We will use clothing scraps to cover up the damage. Firstly, we take a ruler to measure the approximate area that we will have to cover. Here I have some scrap fabric from a coat that is a good match for the original garment in terms of color, size and the texture of the fabric. After measuring the area, it looks like I will need a patch of about 7 cm in diameter. So now I'm just making sure that the scrap pieces of fabric that I have are matching in size and can sufficiently cover the area that we need to deal with. If you don't have sewing chalk or fabric markers to draw the shape you need, you can use soap. Here, as you can see, I have cut out the two circular patches and now we can get to the sewing. Firstly, I insert a piece of cardboard into each trouser leg below where the patches will be to prevent sewing through to the other side. This is easier to do on a table. Once this is done, I use pins to secure the patches into the correct position. You can see here that I have already covered one patch in temporary stitches. I have used white thread so they are easy to see against the fabric. This allows us to secure the patch to the correct location so we don't have to worry about it moving when we use the sewing machine. Firstly, I go around the edges and then add a few stitches in the middle for extra security. Now that we have the patches secure, we can remove the cardboard and sew the patch on using a basic straight stitch. We've sewed on the patch. I'm leaving the temporary stitching in place so I can embroider the patches later.
This type of fabric doesn't fray around the edges, so there is no need to do anything else in this case. For the best results and look of the garment, it helps to iron the patched area after you are done. To make the item more interesting, we have added embroidered emojis. We will go over this process in a later video. Here is the final result of the transformation. Thank you for watching the first video in our course. We'll release the next one on Sunday.